Yechez Ke'el, Ezekiel 3. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of Adam, eat, eth that you find. Eat, eth this roll, and go speak unto the house of Yashara'el. So I opened, eth my mouth, and he caused me to eat, eth that roll. And he said unto me, Son of Adam, cause your belly to eat, and fill your bowels with eth this roll that I give you. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of Adam, go, get you unto the house of Yashara'el, and speak with my words unto them. For you are not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Yashara'el. Not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language, whose words you cannot understand. Surely, had I sent you to them, they would have hearkened unto you. But the house of Yashara'el will not hearken unto you, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Yashara'el are impudent and hard-hearted. Behold, I have made eth your face strong against their faces, and eth your forehead strong against their foreheads. As in adamant, harder than flint, have I made your forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of Adam, eth all my words that I shall speak unto you, receive in your heart, and hear with your ears. And go, get you to them of the captivity, unto the children of your people, and speak unto them, and tell them, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. Then the Ruach took me up, and I heard behind me a voice of a great rushing, saying, Blessed be the glory of Yahuwah from his place. I heard also the noise of the wings of the living creatures that touched one another, and the noise of the wheels over against them, and a noise of a great rushing. So the Ruach lifted me up and took me away, and I went in bitterness in the heat of my Ruach. But the hand of Yahuwah was strong upon me. Then I came to them of the captivity at Tel Aviv, that dwelt by the river of Kivar, and I sat where they sat, and remained there astonished among them seven days. And it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, I have made you a watchman unto the house of Yashara'el. Therefore hear the word at my mouth, and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, You shall surely die, and you give him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at your hand. Yet, if you warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, 
he shall die in his iniquity. But you have delivered at your soul. Again, when a righteous man turns from his righteousness and commits iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because you have not given him warning, he shall die in his sin, and his righteousness, which he has done, shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at your hand. Nevertheless, if you warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he does not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warned. Also, you have delivered at your soul, and the hand of Yahuwah was there upon me, and he said unto me, Arise, go forth into the plain, and I will there talk with you. Then I arose and went forth into the plain, and behold, the glory of Yahuwah stood there, as the glory which I saw by the river of Kivar, and I fell on my face. Then the Ruach entered into me, and set me upon my feet, and spoke with me, and said unto me, Go, shut yourself within your house. But you, O son of Adam, behold, they shall put bands upon you, and shall bind you with them, and you shall not go out among them. And I will make your tongue cleave to the roof of your mouth, that you shall be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. But when I speak with you, I will open at your mouth, and you shall say unto them, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, He that hears, let him hear, and he that forbears, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house.